Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to preview with you the new updates of Lexica Art. So after the update and upgrade of Lexica Art, it's been over better now. So you can see such designs like this, this, and this one, for example. Some illustrations and some arts such as like this, as you can see here. And these are from the new updates. And also, there are 3D prints as these. Now we can use Lexica Art, it's much easier than before. And these are some designs and some illustrations of pictures in Lexica Art. So for example, if you click here, as you can see, uh, in this box, we can see the definition of the picture and the description and how many pixels and so on and so far. Uh, also, we can click here to copy the promote. And here in Open Editor, we can edit this picture and do our customization and explore the style. Once we click on it, we can see a similar pictures. Here in this part, as you can see, if we had a membership or a plus subscription membership, we can see the license of the picture in order to sell the picture or trade on it. Uh, you know, just take the license so we can able to use it wherever we want without any copyrights. Here in this section, if we click on this icon, we can search by image. So for example, if we put this picture here, we can click on it. We can see a similar pictures. So we can search by image instead of type a word or keywords for the picture, right? Uh, that's a new update also. Here in the spot, we can do a rendering for the picture that we want. As we can see here, this is the description or definition for the picture. In here, uh, this we can write a, you know, maybe extra comments or extra notes to the picture from this one and this one as well. Uh, these are the, you know, uh, pixels or the size and the adjustment of the picture. For example, uh, 1088 and 896 and so on these advanced settings we click on it we can uh, choose lexica uh, picture v3 or v2 v stands for virgin and these are the guidance scale we can change and adjust this one from 1 to 10 or whatever we want uh, as mentioned here we can write whatever we want and click on generate so we can see the picture using lexica art um, in the membership if we have a plus membership we can see a small picture here once we click on it, we can see a lot of varieties. So we can edit the picture, you know, change the hairstyle, the hair color, change even though the skin color. This, once we have the plus membership for Lexica. And here, after we click on generate, for example, we can see these pictures are similar to the original one. For example, we get this one. Uh, we can see the pictures, we can preview them, but we cannot edit any one of these because we do not have a plus membership, right? And this for the history section, these are the history of the search results and so on for each thing you did in Lexica. Every picture that you generated, you seen, and you edited and so far. Each picture, if you stop on it, you can click on this icon in order to generate another pictures for the same picture or the same data based on this one. And the search icon, we can click on it to search for, um, you know, any picture similar to this one if we click on the search icon for this one. Here on the likes, we can see all the pictures that we made that like. For example, here, as you can see this, the red heart. Uh, if you see this, this heart, that means that this picture is liked by us. And this icon, the same, we can generate once again. In the search icon, we click on it so we can see um, a similar pictures. And if we click on it, we can see the license here in this place where I put the mouse in. We can see the license in order to do it for commercial stuff. For example, to steal a picture, trade the picture, use the picture without any copyright. So here are the memberships or the plans. We can see Starter, Pro, Max. These are the features for each one. For example, at Starter, we got up to 1,000 fast generations per month. Uh, and Pro, 3,000. Max, up to 7,000. Each one of these has a different features of the other, and it has a lot of prices. If you don't have any membership, you can do up to 100 pictures. For example, if you click on generate, you can see only four pictures here. So each one of these uh, counts on you. So these four out of 10, as you can see here, and we can adjust this one. If we change uh, the adjustment layers, there is no any counts or any picture will be discounted us. One more thing to know, if you choose the pro, uh, your pictures will be public, but in private, you can keep the image private. The same for starter, the images are public, as you can see here. So for the limitations of downloads, there's no limitation for uh, downloads either. 
if you don't have any membership or any subscription for the website either for the starter and pro users or even those who doesn't have any membership and that's something very cool i mean if you click on generate it's very quick and very high in speed as you can see it's very quick and very speed as you can see here either if you use your tablet your phone or even your device such as pc or laptop it's very very quick unlike mid journey on this card it takes a lot of time but here in alexa it's very it's very speed one more thing to know uh, the quality of the pictures as you can see it's a high quality the illustration is very high quality here and the contrast and shadow and so on but most of the pictures are enemies you know as you can see it's like the uh, Japanese enemy and this is very hard to make it uh, sounds like a humanity or a human style you know I mean if you can see a real picture and one here from Lixka you can you can note that this one is AI but this one for example it seems like a real but it's not also this one here you might see it as a real uh, because it has no any people because this is an environment but for the animation it's very well and very perfect as you can see here also for the 3d illustrations they are very well there's something it's kind of difficult here for example if you search for a car you cannot see the car uh, i mean you cannot write next to the car is it a vertical or horizontal and so on so that's something could be changed in the future i'm not sure but so far it's not possible so that was all today's video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching